Welcome back. We are here, here on Ether looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, March 1st, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. A link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll look and start by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, we're trading underneath the 20 exponential moving average. And it is uh, my now analysis from yes last week is most likely going to occur here. And that is that we're slowly going to to drop towards the 50 moving average before finding major support. Technical indicators here are not as bearish as they have been. They are slowly turning around, for example, the stochastic and also the, the RSI. However, the MACD and the CCI are very bearish at this point. So there is more, uh, it is more likely that will drop lower before we go higher. So the 50 moving average is at the moment at 30,960, uh, 30, and that should offer massive support at this point. If this breaks, then we are going significantly lower. If you look at the Fibonacci retracement, for example, you can see that the 61.8 is right here at the 60, 50 moving average. We could drop a little bit lower, but then probably bounce from that, from that area. So let's look at, at Ethereum. So we are also here trading, uh, basically this weekend has been a horrible for, for some of these cryptocurrencies, not just Bitcoin, but most of them. Some of them ha have also been rallying like ADA, but for example, Ethereum is dropping like a rock at this current stage. 1,357 at this point, the previous highs was 2,000. So if you look at the Fibonacci retracement, we can go for the long here. We can see that we are just testing the first uh, uh, 38.2 we have basically broken that and now we're most likely going to drop to the 50 at 1176 if we drop below that then we go towards uh, 1000 which is uh, 61.8 and yes that is also where a lot of buying will occur as most analysis basically predict this to drop down to uh, 1000 uh, we did get way ahead of ourselves. Usually, if you can look at, the, for example, the weekly, we can just see how parabolical this uh, became. And you can see that the 20 exponential in the weekly chart is right around this area. We could also drop to the previous highs here. That was also or the previous highs back in 2018, which is roughly 1300 to 1400, which is also near the first Fibonacci retracement where we are at this current stage. But usually when things get this parabolical, when they just go straight up in the air, you drop and you lose half of the, of the value like we did back here in 2017, 2018. So yes, there is still momentum to the downside. And uh, yeah, I don't think people have given up on this, but, but uh, there will be uh, a lot of value hunting here. The lower this gets, um, the more people will start buying into this, probably. Yes, let's look at Adam. So this also went completely parabolic. So as we zoom out of this, you can just see how this just went basically vertical and nothing lasts when you get this uh, parabolic. It's a move different when you have a gradual uh, increase like this compared to an absolutely hockey stick uh, move like this. So only thing that will happen here, it will lose half of its value before you know, getting support and then going back uh, up to towards the previous highs. So it isn't, isn't even close to the previous highs yet, but uh, at this point, we are bouncing off the 20 exponential. So there's a lot of room to the downside. Around $1, that is where this most likely will head to. Technically, not all of them are turning around. MACD is still bullish, but stochastic, CCI, RSI are turning to the downside or becoming bearish, and we most likely drop towards $1 before continuing up towards 1.25 or one and a half dollars. So let's look at Litecoin. So this is not as parabolical as the other cryptocurrencies. It is um, acting more, it does have its parabolical moves like this and then it just breaks down and then it rallies again and then breaks down. 
at this point we are have broken significantly down we went from all the way to uh, 234 all the way down towards uh, 152 dollars and that is a massive fall at the moment we are getting we are fairly low in the rsi for a cryptocurrency usually these things are all the way up in 80 85 and 90 and now we are at 33 technical indicators are still very bearish uh, if you look at the previous price action then the 50 and the 20 have offered massive support for this we have occasionally broken below the 50 and then rallied above again we're trading underneath 50 right now so we could stay here for a while build up momentum before going to the upside we're still in an uptrend this just these moves and the same for all of the cryptocurrency they just don't last forever it's like looking at the uh, GameStop that could not last forever either but uh, we are still in an uptrend um, if we break below these previous lows then we could drop all the way down to the 200 moving average at roughly a hundred dollars so let's look at NEO So same thing here, we went from all the way back here, 2000, beginning at 2001, from $14 all the way up towards $54, and then we broke down towards the $30, $30, give or take, then rallied again, and now we're again breaking down. So what is happening here, we can look at the Fibonacci retracement, for example, for this cryptocurrency, we can see that the 50 uh, Fibonacci retracement is where this is um, finding support the 61.8 is down here at the 50 moving average so we could see this gradually grind towards the 50 and then turn around if we break the 50 and, and the 61.8 then we're heading all the way down to the uh, 200 moving average at 20 dollars so let's look at from so same thing for Thron. we went from all the way down from 0 0.02 all the way up towards 0 0.6 then had this uh, colossal uh, classic fall down towards 0 0.03 and then rallied again and now we're settling just underneath the 20 exponential and the, above the 50 moving average same thing here 50 is holding it will most likely gradually go towards 0 0.04 before taking off to the upside so, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing and hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over on Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.